Thank you. The campaign, the Jubilee campaign. Madam Rapporteur, thank you for your statements. Jubilee campaign seeks to draw the Council's attention to the domestic human rights and religious freedom situation in Eritrea. We congratulate Eritrea and Ethiopia on their peace agreement. Regrettably, however, little has been done to improve the human rights of Eritrean citizens, particularly as it relates to the freedom of religion and belief. In light of its new position in the Human Rights Council, we urge Eritrea to live up to the human rights standards that the Council was stipulated to uphold. We urge Eritrea to abolish the Proclamation No. 73, 1995, which gives the state extensive powers to monitor religious activity and, not and is not merely a pro forma registration of organizations. As an example, the religious institution, institutions who did re register, such as the Meherte Yesu Evangelical Presbyterian Church, um, the Seventh-day Adventist, the Baha'i Movement, they are still waiting for their confirmation since 2002. We recognize the confirmed release of 35 individuals in July 2018. The Eritrean government arrested them without trial for belonging to a so-called unregistered Christian denomination. Uh, we urge Eritrea to release unconditionally those prisoners, such as the Pentecostal Christians, Jehovah's Witnesses, and to treat them with humanity and due process. We mentioned Archbishop Antonios, who has been in prison since 2000 and, uh, under house arrest since 2006. And we ask them to halt the arrests and detainments of those who have an opposing ideology or adhere to a certain religion. And we echo our special rapporteur who wrote in 2018 that the refusal of Eritrean authorities to address human rights issues is symptomatic of a broader context of denial and rejection, suggesting that the situation of human rights in the country remains critical. And as we have heard today, it still does and is critical.